Hey what's up everyone, it's me Nareen Ramesh. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Monster Go Pyraminx. This is a Pyraminx from a sub-brand of GAN, Monster Go. They have a variety of puzzles and I'm going to be going over their Pyraminx. It has a unique logo as you can see, uh, a monster as they say. And let's get into the puzzle. So these are the only two things that come in the box pamphlet which is presumably containing information to solve the puzzle and then you also have the puzzle itself. This will be very useful for cubers who are just starting out because a uh, basic pyraminx with not much customization will be useful and not very confusing as many pyraminxes are right now especially with for example the GAN pyraminx. So without further ado let's get into the puzzle. So the first thing I'm going to say is that it looks and feels on the outside exactly like a GAN Pyraminx. Like if I compare them, you'll be able to see that they look almost identical apart from this logo. So that's something that's pretty unique about the puzzle. Anyway, let's get into first turns. Okay. First thing I'm noticing is if I look in here, the camera will focus. You might be able to see, but there is like a honeycomb like pattern over here. No doubt, uh, one of Gan's honeycomb designs that they use in almost all their puzzles. It has a very interesting feeling. In fact, the entire puzzle has a very interesting feeling. I thought it would feel very much like the Gan Pyraminx, but that's almost not the case. It feels lighter or the magnets feel lighter, the overall puzzle feels kind of the same and you can see that I'm finding the magnets a bit lighter because of, kind of how much I'm locking up right now. Yeah, that's one thing about this puzzle is that it doesn't have customizable magnets which would be useful ideally on another puzzle like the X-Man Bell version 2. Customizable magnets would make me uh, change the magnets so that they would be stronger so that I could potentially have a better uh, performance on this puzzle. But apart from that, I'm beginning to flow better on this puzzle. Okay. Okay, that's very interesting. So I don't know if you can hear this, but I'll get it close to the mic. So it's a very definite clicking noise and that's something I wasn't expecting. Generally tips have a magnetic feeling but not much of a noise but this feels like it almost has ball bearings the way it clicks into place and in fact it could have ball bearings although the edges themselves feel like they just have magnets so that's very interesting. It definitely has a very interesting feel it's out of the box at least not feeling too great it's pretty luby on the outside. But the tips do feel controllable, which is very good. Uh, the GAN Pyraminx, in my opinion, had very light tips and it was hard to control. So using this puzzle is definitely an improvement in my eyes. The sticker shades look quite good. And the corner cutting, I think it's all right. Let me give it another go. Okay, not there, but you're not going to be doing much corner cutting on a Pyraminx anyways. I'll go over here. Okay, so it does... Oh, okay, wow, so that reverse is actually pretty good, actually. Whoa, whoa. This is actually very good corner cutting on this pyramid, so I think the out-of-the-box tensions are certainly better than the GAN. I found the GAN out-of-the-box tensions to be pretty mediocre, if I'm being honest. I mean, the turning was okay, but I found the tensions to be pretty tight, at least on the one that I got. So yeah, that's about it for this unboxing. It has reasonable stickerless shades, and also comes at a cheaper price, so definitely looks like the option to go if you want a somewhat cheaper version of the GAN Pyraminx. Out of the box, the tensions are pretty good on it, and it overall seems to be performing pretty well. The only thing about it is that it has pretty light magnets, at least for my taste. I'm someone who prefers magnet strengths coming close to the X-Man Bell version 1. So yeah, let's cut to some solves. As you can see from these solves, I generally perform better on the GAN Pyraminx. 
This is largely due to the ball bearing like tips on the monster go pyraminx, which inhibit my turns there and overall make for a locky experience. This can be seen further by how the cube deforms from time to time. This greatly diminishes my liking of the puzzle, as the tips are an important component of the puzzle itself. Overall, I prefer the Gan Pyraminx to this Monster Go Pyraminx, but it is nevertheless a good option, especially if you are on a budget. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.